She was 26 when she became queen. That really made an impression, an enormous impression on me. The fact that, that, uh, that she was dedicating her life, it's what it's all about. Uh, that's the whole point of my, of my life. And so I think, no, she sees it too, uh, that it, it's the whole point of her life. The, the way she, she, she has faced her, uh, faced her duties, the way she is dedicated, but also that she does it with a, with a smile. I think the tone of her voice is very, very special. It's, a, it's a very clear and a very, a very attractive voice to my mind, to my ear. And, then, and, and you can feel the, the humour through it. You know, there's no doubt that she has a marvellous sense of humour. Uh, she can look very serious, but one knows that underneath it. She, and she's, I mean, she's aware about, ev about everything that happens around her. And she, she can, um, I can't exactly point out a particular thing, but, but I do know that when something funny happens in the background, she will see it. <laughs> I don't become a different personality, I hope. I feel that I'm the same sort of person underneath. She's also the same person inside and knows very well that she is the same. Governments change, they should change, they must change. Uh, but the sovereign is there. You belong to your country. You don't belong to any section of it or even any part of it. One belongs to one's whole nation and I, and I think I think that is one of the things that uh, Queen Elizabeth does so beautifully. My heart really goes out to her. Uh, she's been through many things in her life and now she's alone and she's still bearing up beautifully. Uh, that, that, that really is Im most impressive. Mm -hmm.